Um, but what I realized was, uh, what I realized the problem, uh, or how do I put it? The problem actually had to do with um, the lack of information to all stakeholders. I mean, a lot of people were not well informed or were not given information, let me put it that way, right. as to what the project was about. And I realized it was after, after the, 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 the backlash that both the ministry and the Ghana itself started to give information. But I'm happy about one thing. We had a trip to uh, Rwanda. So I was part of the trip mm. to visit the, the zip line service. And we, has, we had some brothers also from the minority side. And uh, we had some media men, <coughs> media men as well. And it became very evident that this intervention is one of the best ways to address many problems at the same time. So some of the problems we have are one, capacity management. That is the current capacity we have is it able to service the demand that is coming from our hospitals in terms of patients? Mm -hmm. So you have someone at Suhum who needs some drug. You have somebody at um, Kibi who needs some service. But because of the logistical challenges, <clears throat> it's not only about availability of the drugs, inventory management. Some of the hospitals don't have the software to be able to track medicines that are going out of stock. Some, so, uh, those who have the capacity to track mm -hmm. also might not have the drugs on time. You have a situation where sometimes the central medical stores or the regional medical stores has a drug, but they can't release directly to, let's say, Kibi, where I was working some years ago. So this zipline concept is simple. What it does is that there is a distribution center. Mm. It's a mini, it's like a shadow central medical stores. Right. Serving, let's say, some number of health facilities. So what we have in Zoom now is going to serve minimum about 25 facilities. Now, so what happens is that if you are in Kibi Government Hospital, and you go into the theater and you need a particular blood group, let's say A positive, mm. and you don't have it within Kibi, instead of calling OCM Hospital to ask them, please, do you have blood? Or calling Kofori Drug to say, can we send someone for blood? You rather call the distribution center, which is supposed to stock all the essential medicines you need plus blood products. Mm. And so when you call the distribution center, the good thing is that instead of now sending an ambulance, or asking the relatives to drive in a taxi to come for the blood, this zip distribution center takes the order, takes the blood, and then they put it on this zip line. The zip uh, is actually the drone. That's what they call the zip. A, a small helicopter. Exactly. L let's put it that. Exactly. So the drone has a space underneath mm. and a box. It carries a specific size box. So the blood is put in the box. Within five minutes, I was there. The, the packaging is done. They put it in the drone. The drone flies to Kibi. It will not land, but they have something they call a drop zone. And all this is on prog computer programming. So within some radius, it drops the blood and it falls within a compound in the hospital. Mm. And then the hospital goes for it and applies it. So, and what is interesting is that driving from Kibi to Kofoidria, the regional hospital, to get blood and back will take minimum, assuming you are speeding, about two and a half hours or three hours. The zip will do that in about seven to ten minutes. You know, so, so that's the difference. No, that's the difference. And please, let me state it again. This is not supposed to solve all logistical problems or to replace current arrangement. So Kibi can still have some blood stocked. Uh, OCM can have some blood stocked. This is supposed to come in. Should you have a situation where you don't have a particular drug or blood type and you need to save a life? And that is what the concept is about. Mm. Instead of going to central medical stores, now there's a shadow. That's what they call distribution center. And the distribution center itself is restocked by the regional medical stores or the national. So National Blood Bank is a key stakeholder. We've had situations where in Accra, somebody goes like, they will call Ridge. Oh, do you, I, I get calls because of Kolibu. Doc, my relative is in the theater. They need three units of blood. An MP will call me. I say, okay, I will now call the National Blood Service. And they'll tell me, Doc, let the person go. They will give them blood. Now the course will go to the distribution center. And I am happy about the fact that if calls come and they don't deliver, now you have a place to lay your blame. But with the current arrangement, if there are inefficiencies at many places, mm. it is difficult to pinpoint where to go for. So um, that is what ZIP is about. Right. It's, it's a good intervention. Mm. And we hope that it is managed well so that it serves the purpose. Mm. Uh, Dr. Park, so it is, it is